focus. Whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and shouted, You are the Son of God. Today's reading helps us reflect on the priesthood of Jesus, the perfect mediator of a better covenant, and enable us to accept Jesus as Lord. Even the unclean spirits bowed before His holiness and testified to His divinity. We can best acknowledge Him by remaining true to the faith and being His witnesses in daily life. Saint Agnes was one such witness, a martyr for the faith and one of the most glorious saints in the early church. She preferred to die in order to keep herself chaste from the following love of Christ. When many were apostatizing, the name Agnes means lamp in Latin and in Greek signifies the pure one a symbol of the modesty and innocence of this virgin martyr. Today too, she is an exemplary saint to be imitated, that we may say, I desire you, Jesus, with all my heart and strength. We are in the week of prayer for Christian unity, which dovetails with the theme of the Holy Father's prayers, Intentions of January. This is a time of tension between various religions. Let us seek the grace to live in fellowship and our brothers and sisters of all faith as one family. Fruit to Lord, I surrender every moment of my day to you as an offering for Christian fellowship and unity in proclaiming you as Lord of all.